Speed begins and the recording begins. The ba -ba 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 -ba, the usual intro. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Final Engage Part, whichever I haven't double checked at this time. Uh, for the record, for the stream info, I put off to Brodia edition because that's our objective today. We're going to Brodia. I ain't going to track down the other DLC maps right at this instance. Nor am I going to do skirmishes. I I may attempt to, to for the purposes of, of uh, maybe if we need to grind, I'll, I'll do some skirmishes. But at this time, I'm not. Besides, there's not. Besides, unlike Awakening, there's at the moment I don't see any rush to need to get any supports done. Um, seeing as there's no S ending, the endings. No, uh, what I'm meaning is S supports. S endings. That's uh, three houses. <laughs> My mind is rather brain dead. Anyway, ooh, confection knife. I noticed these food items in the. Um, all the records in a previous part, so it's so it's actually nice to have one of them. Uh, since it said knife, let's head over to Yanaka, our resident thief, and see what we get stat-wise out of it. The Confection Knife, a knife with a sweet scent, disappears when consumed as an item, but recovers the user's HP. Ah, this, okay. Uh, no, wait, no, I wait. I get it. I get it. I, I get what you're meant to do with it. Uh, so it is actually slightly stronger than the Iron Dagger and has a range of 1 to 2, so... She's our only thief, so I might as well... You know what, I'll keep the Iron Dagger, because you never know when we might need to use it as a healing item. So... <sighs> oh, god damn it, I've got phlegm in my mouth. Blech. Uh, anyway, wait, uh, first things first, um, there is actually just some cleanup we've got to do in terms of uh, the daily sort of things that you get, well no, the things you get at, after doing a map. Uh, for example, we can order our meal, uh, we dispose of clan's meal, we didn't want it. Uh, let's see, who do we want to get some support points with? I mean, uh, there's a, what does that, who does that have supports with? Uh, fam. That's it. Uh, let's go for someone else then, because I think we did that last time. Uh, let us have food with Alfred and Sailing. Onion quiche. We don't have any additional pork, but we can put in some more onions. And a way of vegetable, why not? So I don't actually know if you can see, but one of my eyes might look a little off. Um, yeah, basically well, just a bit sore, but that's because I put it a bit too much. Yes, Alfred, that is correct. With the white right meal and dietary plan, you could easily have nice muscles going on. Obviously, you still need to work out. Just eating a lot of calories means that you need to exhaust a lot of calories as well. But hey, that's just how it works. A hearty meal. Tastefully presented. Uh, doesn't read the rest of it, da. But it's evident that its chef put a great deal of care into it. Well, I'll, sp I'll give the word thirty, eh? It was an ordinary onion quiche. All units gain one defense and one res. Okay, so Alfred and Sadie are going to be a little bit more defensive next uh, map. That, that's fine. Uh, assuming I use them, of course. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else that we can do before we leave? Um, the wiener. And strength training, uh, you know what, I'll refrain from it for once. Uh, oh, I didn't actually, hold on, I, I forgot to put some items in the well for uh, for next time, because I like the idea of transforming my items. Uh, right, let's see, what do we have here that I don't give a shit about? Compact axe, never give, I, I don't care about that. Uh, we don't need this many surges, we'll keep the thunder. Uh... Actually, we have more fun in there than I know what to do with at the moment. Let's use some of them. Right. Uh, right, I did notice in our infantry. Uh, manage items. First of all, we warp. We do not need that. That's a staff. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we have a thunder, but I don't know. Hmm. Nah. I'll, I'll put thunder on someone else if I get another mage. Uh, 
this is fine. I'm not talking about this. But regardless, uh, why? Um, I should really just go for everyone's infantry. You can't use staffs. You can, but do I want you to just have all of these? Uh, warp teleports adjacent ally up to five spaces away. We warp teleports user up to five spaces away. Rescue teleports an ally to you. Hmm. Take the Sysic. Uh, where's John? Because he can also use staffs. Store the torch, boy. You can have this loom. And while you're at it, have this warp. And then Yunaka is our only other person that can use staffs, but that's staff is C. So that means. Hmm. Nah. It's not really any I would want to use them. Everyone else's inventory is looking fine to me though, so that's good. Wait, uh, anyway, to the arena. Because I believe I haven't used the thing, so I think that means I plan on Upgrading someone. Uh, or am I dead set on trying to get John experience? Hmm. Yeah, let's get John some more experience because, to be fair, he's a healer, so he'll be in the back lines anyway. Should I really be here? It's that mysterious wanderer. Oh, this is a murder, okay. There's no point watching a battle where one side does zero damage, in my opinion. At least in the arena. Because, you know, it's, it's like, <laughs> just legit no damage. Right, anyway. Come on, John. Level up. Oh, goody, that's an iron land. No, 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 silver lands. Oh, goody. Even if there's, even if a one percent chance to miss did occur multiple times, I I doubt that was a winning situation. Okay, not not much in terms of stats. Mm, oh, but a conversation. Okay, so we have other we have other things to do now before we can carry on. Uh, let's get something to level ten and uh, maybe use the master still. I'm, st I'm still, this, I'm still umming and ahhing over whether it's worth using now. Or maybe see whether we get any additional units in Brodia. Oh, you win because you attack first. Oh, okay, right. I was thinking, okay, so just dodge the attack. But no, no need for that. Uh, right, level 10! Uh, to the stat increases there a little bit. But now that we actually have someone at level 10... That, I'm... Maybe it was last time, maybe it was a different time before that. Um, I went through all of the various classes that you can upgrade your character to. Um, now, we actually have one that we can upgrade um, sailing to, and that's the Fidamine. Or Fidamine? Uh, Fidame? So maybe it's trying, maybe, it's, maybe it needs to sound a bit more French or something, I don't know. Point being, this is what she has access to as a unique upgrade version of her specific noble form, seeing as hers is different from Alfred's. And I mean, level 5, get yeah, Ignis during combat may add half of strength to magic attack damage or half of magic to all other damage, which the trigger percentage is dexterity, so... Yeah, so you know, it's not a bad option. Also, A in tomes, if, the, if we ever get a tome that specifically needs an A in it, Sailing can use it. A B and staff, we can utilize that. Another healer, maybe that means we'd end up not using John though. That's the only thing. Or rather, because staffs aren't just healing, we can put some supportive stuff on Saline, and then she's able to fill a support wall while abling to do damage. So, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. We have the singular master seal that we got from Anna's power log. Let's just do it. 
She doesn't look that different in terms of outfit. Maybe the dress thing's gone a bit more rounder. Uh, oh, the crown bit actually a bit. There is power budding in me. I will work diligently to help it bloom. Ah, the flower talk, as per usual. And, yeah, plus one in everything. That, that's just straight up a boost. I... I... Uh, pardon me. And now we have done that, if you really did not want to do this for whatever reason, then we can actually use a second seal on any of these advanced classes as long as we've got the proficiency. So that's good. That's cool. I like that. Thank you, game. Right. Ugh, pardon me. Uh, right, let's sort out this whole thing. Get the antitoxin, because... Yeah. Let's see, what have we got here? We got... Oh, you know what? The rescue will be useful. I will happily take that and put that on sailing. She can now use that in case I need to pull someone out of a sticky situation. Uh, trying to think what else there is that we can do at this point. Uh, oh, I need to check um, the support. Oh, yeah, we did um, get Chloe and John C uh, in the arena, so we should probably do it. Um, excuse me, Chloe. Well, it's Chloe because of the accent. Did you need help with something? Not exactly. In fact, I thought maybe I could help you. With what? I'd like you to have this stomach medicine. Oh my! Thank you! But my stomach's not upset. Why did you think I needed medicine for it? Well, you eat so much weird stuff. It's only a matter of time before it disagrees with you. It's only a matter of time, Chloe, before you get irritable bowel syndrome. <laughs> now, if there is anyone watching, they've fled. Are you worried all the folk food I eat won't sit well with me? Don't you worry about that. I've got an iron stomach. Everyone says that until they find the one thing that does disagree, and suddenly just the waveform just collapses, and you're done. Still and all, it's good to be prepared. Just the other day, I saw you stuffing yourself with what looked like... Weird eyeballs. Weird eyeballs. Weird eyeballs. What would be classed as weird eyeballs? Whatever that was, there's no way it can be healthy for you. Maybe, but they're so good. I'll save some for you next time, as thanks for the medicine. What? Um, that's okay. Your thanks are enough. Anyway, be careful. It scares me to think of what you're putting in your body. Well, it's not like she's putting drugs in there. Sure, I'll be careful. Unless those weird eyeball things are filled with heroin or something. In which case, no. No, 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 no. Drugs, not not a good thing to just joke about, actually, to be honest. We also randomly have ETA and Boucheron C support, so we might as well see that as well. Are you ready yet, Boucheron? Hmm? Ready for what? Ready to tell me what you're mixing into your food to get those muscles. Well, Etienne, I don't think we need Bush one to answer this one. Obviously, the correct answer would be steroids. Or maybe just protein. Depending on, depending on how sensible you want to be about this. But what is Bush one's answer? Not this again. I've told you before that it's got nothing to do with my diet. Uh huh. That's what you say, yes. But today, I'm going Etienne, to... here has none of that bull crap. Oh yes, no, it's not got nothing to do with your diet, obviously, don't <laughs> But that is the truth. Muscles come naturally to me. That's the long and the short of it. S some people's metabolism are like that. A hundred percent. Uh my metabolism, for example, means that I'm short and fat like a dwarf. Wish I could have been something else other than a dwarf, but no, I'm not a dwarf, but in terms of height, but I am shorter compared to quite a few people I know, so. Still sticking to that story, huh? But metabolism is definitely 100% a thing. Because I should tell you up front that I've been watching you, Boucheron. You have, and? I always knew Etier was a spy. And I know you don't do anything but fish or read all day after training each morning. But what is he doing in his training? There I am, working up a sweat, while you sit under a tree with a book or a pole. There's no way you can do that and still stay in such incredible shape. So, I assume that whatever you're doing on the sly really works. 
<laughs> you know what? I'm just now imagining, like, late at night while ITA's asleep, British One and Alfred just put, like, air pumps into their, into their, um, arms and just go, ah, 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 that will show up. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Obviously, if you're trying to do that to make your muscles look big, don't do that. That doesn't work. Uh, if you do try to do it, then I think you are more foolish than I am. Anyway. All right, listen. Wait, are you using magic? <laughs> Unbelievable. The will go just <sighs> Oh, confound it. Magic in a magical world. Oh, I right. calm down, Etienne. No, it's nothing like that. In fact, it's nothing at all. I'm done arguing with you about this. People shouldn't see the prince's retainers quarreling. Good day, Etienne. And off Bruce Ron goes. Right. That's just what he'd say if he was hiding something. Because that's what they would expect us to think. <sighs> Etienne, do I need to get a whiteboard out for your conspiracy theory? Uh, do we have any bonds? Oh, we do. Bouchon and Sigurd. Let us take up arms to defend the people. It is by our bonds that we shall change the world. Noble words to be said. Bond is a good, strong word. Hmm. I could get used to having an emblem on my side. Hmm. Undoubtedly. No, no, no. No, Sigurd says it's true, I guess. Oh, no. Nah. Skill inheritance. Ah, oh, crap. Why? Okay. Let's see what amount of SP we've got on Bouchon. I, it's been sixteen. It's been nearly seventeen minutes. Um, uh, my Bouchon, Bouchon, Bouchon. We can get the hit plus ten. I will actually save it because momentum's kind of nice. I was a Canter. Canter's nice. I like Canter. Anyway, uh, right. Okay, that's everything that I'm going to do here. Now let us depart to the world map. And to Brodia. To Brodia. We're, we're going to Brodia. We're going to Brodia. I'm saying it so many times that it's ingrained into my head. It doesn't matter what skirmishes show up. Even if it looks impressive to do or something. I don't know. This one it might still be a pain in the ass. Why does it say base class level 10? No, that's fine. Uh, base class level 10? No, whatever. Whereas this is base class level 7. So the skirmishes... The skirmishes are higher level. Hang on a second. Hmm. Well, I don't know how they choose to brace, base it all around, but... Chapter 7. The Grand Crossing. The party attempts to cross the border to attain the wing entrusted to the Kingdom of Brodia. A kingdom of might, they claim. It's a little bit of a thing. And... We would need to up the adoption level to be able to get a Brodian cat or an Aura Eagle, but we can't get an Illusion Pigeon. Hmm. Pigeons. Anyway, let's begin the chapter. Oh, I haven't equipped the Tiki bracelet yet. I should equip that on someone. Oh, we'll figure out later. So, oh, cutting. Across the border. We're in Brodia territory. Yeah, you now. can definitely tell it's Brodia. The landscape here. It's so different from Firene. Nothing but rugged terrain all around us. Watch out! <laughs> We're under attack? Well, that happened. Name yourselves. I would make the same request of you. After all, you are the one sneaking over our border. Well, this is very strict border patrol. We weren't even sneaking, we were just walking. Identify yourselves. Oh, that's a fun time. Okay, well, never mind my previous statement. Statement if these people are good. These people seem evil, though, at the moment, so... Ugh. I am Alfred. The heir to the throne of Firene and your ally. The divine dragon and the crown prince of Firene. That's right. Now like I would like I would believe that. Pew. Like that. I did it. I killed that liar. You looked so threatening for all of a second, and now I must ask why. Uh, okay, well, 
Chapter 7 is called Dark Emblem. We've torn out on the save screen multiple times. Uh, so, anyway. Right. No harm was done. True, that arrow did miss, uh, thankfully. That was quite the bow, soldier. Must have been hard on the knees. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that uh, they might go the way Mysterio route, just 20 bajillion knee surgeries and then a miraculous life... Uh, I don't know, whatever he fucking had that allowed his career to have a much longer longevity than many people thought it would be. Which is fine, I like Rey Mysterio, so, you know. Hmm, wait a second. Your face looks awfully familiar. I know, I know that found a from anywhere. <laughs> You're not just a soldier, are you? Alfred. No, I'm all crest. Second Prince of Brodia. That's oh, okay, so the person that could have almost killed us was a prince. Oh dears, that would have been very uh issue alarm uh, that would be a very alarming issue if any of the kingdoms met and met be like, so what happened previously? Oh you know, just uh Alquist Alquist killed the Defiant Dragon. Hey no biggie. That would be a very big issue, obviously. But thankfully they didn't come to that. And she has a very stern look on her face. I like the hair though. Anyway, uh, Alquist. The second prince. So. How's it going, prince Meaning Alquist? that there's a first prince. Even worse than usual. I'm sorry for taking so long to introduce myself. Oh, these are my retainers, Lapis and Citrine. No, seeing as Alquist is now no longer being all fighting with a so, uh, it's safe to assume that we've now got ourselves new allies, or at the very least, people who are going to escort us through Brodia. Because, let's face it, uh, why else would a prince be on the border? Lapis and Citrine. Honored a walk and a fruit. Yeah, welcome to Brodia. Yeah, you're welcome. Do all people get shot at when they very enter? Welcome. You still look like you're ready to kill us. We're merely a little tense. My father, King Morian, received word from Queen Ev that your party was on its way. King Morian. Oh, thank goodness, a normal name. Oh, thank goodness. I would love it if one day there was an actual person called Morian. Now, that, that sounds like a name that you would respect if it's like, Ah, oh, the royal family's coming along. There's King Morian. And it, I'll probably be like, ah, oh, okay, fair enough. I wouldn't be like, wait, really? That's what they're called? And then again, the name is a name, and the reason why the British monarchy has had so many of certain ones, like your Georges, your Henrys, your, uh, your Charleses even, uh, because they just kept calling their sons the same fucking things, the lazy buggers. No, my child should have the same name as me. The, that way, the people will remember. I don't have to learn a new name all of a sudden if I suddenly dropped dead back in the Dark Ages. That could happen at any time, to be fair. To meet you at the border and formally welcome you. We've been waiting for my congested still. Oh, God. It's mid April. No, it's late April. We assumed you were more of the same. I'm sorry for the delay. We are the most colorful bandits you'll ever see. Still, if your arrow hit the divine one, Rodia's standing would have been. That's what I've been saying. <laughs> it would. Politics be fucked. You killed the Divine Dragon or injured them. Maybe it's safer to say injured, but still. I will. I really am sorry. You can well, we. I accept it. I don't know if the Divine Dragon will in this case, but. Was it not possible for your party to arrive in a more royal, more? Well, you see, the thing about that is. This is the kingdom of warriors. If you can't dodge one arrow, you're not worthy to enter. Well, our tree didn't, so I guess we're gonna have to cut that down and throw it over the border. Here, the weak serve the strong. Maybe we should give you a little test. Ah, crap. Well, you know what? what this will prove say? to be a, a test of strength. Oh, I'm fine with that. I'll get my arms up ready. Oh, and then just kick low. Wait, hang on. Lapis is a woman. Hold on. Kick low regardless, because wrestling logic, somehow there will be lady balls. I am referred- now before anyone tries to cancel me, I am referring to the Attitude Era, which is a stain in my opinion, in what fucking was allowed. Anyway, there's a reason why I like White Dissenser. Anyway. She didn't mean that. Apologies. 
my country places too much value. Uh, okay, Alquist, I'm seeing you saying sorry or apologies or being remorseful in too many sentences already. Do I have to start another drinking game for people at home to play? Because obviously I ain't drinking shite except for cans of Fanta. And I realised that it was cans of Fanta. And I realised I had it obscured by my hand the first time round, so I just had to reiterate. Anyway. Besides, you have nothing to prove. I am well aware of your battle prowess. Alquist is magically able to see all the previous battles we've done. Well, Alfred actually has done a generally good job. Maybe not MVP for any of the maps. Maybe once. Possibly. Uh, maybe when you're introduced. But that is definitely not that bad. Having a cavalry unit is always nice to have after all. They get to Thank do hit and one tactics. I am so sorry for all this. So sorry. And I'm sorry it's me. Oh, hey, let's really strike so out. I, I I must question now who hurt you. You can stop apologizing. I'm grateful that a prince is here to receive us personally. That that's also true. What's that to the fine dragon? Send the prince. Which one? Uh, oh, of course, obviously. We need his character introduction first. Me? Yes. Honored, in fact. How polite of you to uh, say so. Uh, I'm just Charming glad well that the scene was not too just character introduction, character introduction just then when it's like three people show up. But uh, we still get a bit of character introduction less just. Dazzling. Yeah. I find it uh, so hard to shine as it is. Uh can he see people's oars? <laughs> I apologize for being too dazzly. I can show you the way to Brodia Castle. Ah, perfect. Okay, off we go to the castle. But wait, hang on, the Grand Crossing. We'll which just the, the Grand that's a level. That would take us to the castle. Good. Divine one. One walk through part of Brodia later. I was wondering about things. something Queen Ev said in her letter. Is it true that Illusia has released Sombron? It's true. Yep. It is. We thought told us as much. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but how well? Uh, rumors to that effect. But I didn't dare believe them. Those neighbors of ours. You will need all the rings to defeat the fell dragon, right? Yep. For generations. Ah, good. Alcus is up to the, the ring of the up to the chase when it comes to the whole emblem wing stuff. Wing of the young lion. The ring of the young lion. It has a red stone mm. and a certain gallant aura. Is that the one we saw in the intro? In which case, that means boy. If not, then it means somebody else. Yeah, it's probably boy. Diamant, the crown prince, told me he's been hearing. Oh, then yeah, it's boy then. So I'm, I'm still qu I still question that opening segment. Like, I'm still questioning it because Awakening did that shit. You know, and it at least had the intenseness of, oh shit, we just struck this Krom fella down. No! And it's like, okay, so how do we get there? He's a remarkable but, person. Hmm. I'm lucky to be his brother. Well, whoever this Diamant fellow is, I'm sure he likes you as, you really as a brother as well. You? Oh, yes. He's strong, wise, humble. The king adores him. Thankfully, he's adores the firstborn, so he will be king next. Oh, and unless it's one of those, unless it's one of those um, monarchies where it's like, I choose who leads, I choose that one over there, and then everyone goes wab 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 wab, and then and then you die, and suddenly your land is split in multiple ways, and suddenly those Vikings seem a lot more easily able to destroy and take the land back that you've been taking from them for a good couple of decades. Yes, I'm referring to one of the many times I've randomly played Crusader Kings 3 off stream. Where those Vikings, huh? And <laughs> then they can suddenly be a mess. <laughs> Anyways. There's no need to be so hard on yourself. Ah, there it is. The Grand Crossing. Yes, if you squint, you might be able to see it more clearly. There seem to be a great many soldiers out today. Wait a moment. Those are Illusion soldiers. Ah, crap. They're occupying the bridge. 
No. Wait, that means if this is the way to the castle, wouldn't that mean that they've taken everything already? Oh no. I should have not have looked princess? up. I should not have looked up some five strikers today. Um, I don't care what your name is. You're now Alice Hirigari. We'll take the compliment. How close is fun to get? Don't come any closer. Yeah, otherwise Zalkus can't hit you with a bow. Illusions aren't worthy to approach the divine dragon. Nobody asked you, Brodian. Besides, we're not the wicked one. Okay, let's ignore potential racism that could occur now. You guys all want the divine dragon. How about we just split the divine dragon up evenly and call it a day? Wait, no, hold on. That might not be the wisest decision in my head today. Hmm. My father says Brodia is a greedy, barbaric country. You're always invading our territory. Our land. It's the worst. I'm gonna double check the world map after this to see how much they might have taken. Do you know how many people you've hurt? Not just soldiers, but regular people. Oh yeah, and some regular people shouldn't be getting hurt. I agree with you, Hortensia, immediately. To expand. We are keeping your vicious, unpredictable kingdom in check. See, this is where it's like, see, here's where I'm thinking like, uh, thinking at the moment, okay, both sides hate each other, fair enough. But we probably are siding with Brody on this one, I'm assuming, because say what you want, Illusia's released someone. Now, that's a bad thing, so. I take it you're retaliating? Launching a full-scale invasion to take your revenge? <laughs> Hardly. I couldn't lead such an ambitious attack. I'm just here to take your rings by order of my father, King Hyacinth. Do you have a way of slicing off my fingers? Because if not, then she nope. told you to do this? Yep. Now, if there are no more questions, fork over the goods and we'll all go home breathing. No, oh, and then, Divine Dragon, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, you know, just doing this so we don't get hurt and all that. Wait, hang on, we need these. No. <laughs> Damn it! The diplomatic solution. Yeah, it sounds like she said the loud part, the quiet part out loud just then. Insert illusion for yes, ma'am. Actually, you know what? Everyone's speaking English or Japanese. You play in Japan, but regardless, we must look to what we have and what we're going to be fighting. I know it's like we've got a cheeky bracelet. We should really put on someone. Someone indeed. We should should have it. Welcome to a bridge. Looking across the map, and well, that's a lot of flying units. As here, you're going to. Oh, hang on. Uh, flying unit there. And there. Okay. Eddie, you're on the team. <laughs> Eddie, just straight up. Yeah, she's in. <laughs> just. Uh, Xbox Lance. And there's quite a few Lance users. Uh, which means Bush One slash Anna will also be very much appreciated, especially over on this side of things. Oh, pardon me. Uh, hmm. So they're allies, and then uh, protection tiles. That's great. So there's a forty plus thirty and a hill slash turn plus ten. Okay. Uh, never getting around. We've got Hortensia over here. 
Oh, she's got two health bars. Okay. Uh, Wing Tamer. Hmm. That's not... Wyvern Knight, Sword Fly. Hmm. Might be an upgrade version that exists. Oh, she has a Master Seal. Sweet. Okay. Uh, Illusion Soldier, Illusion Soldier. That's a... Certainly a colourful Wyvern. And we can get still axe off of... Uh, Rosado. And... Oh, oh that was easier. God, Mary. And she's a hero. Ha uh ha. -huh. Well, we certainly don't need no heroes to save me now. Uh, I'll try and reference skill it better next time, but regardless. Uh, right, let's see. Uh, hmm. I'm seeing the lances. I'm thinking Anna might be better. Bush one's cool and all, but he's, his quality is... No, I, I'm thinking... Of, I said Bush one and while looking at Louis. Uh, hmm. You know, we'll... You know what, there's quite a few armoured units I'm noticing. I don't think a knife is going to be useful. Whereas Arna will be able to do more. Um, now, since we put Arna on the team, I think we could use the Tiki Bracelet. The Wood Up Blug, which works for make a killing. Up some health, that's always a nice thing to have. She gets no bonuses out of it, so that's the only thing. Because backup only really gets something out of... Yeah, only gets stuff out of math. Ugh. Oh well. Let's do that, and then let's hmm, just make sure everyone's in a good position to start. Uh, you know what, yep, this actually maybe swap that around. There we go. Because I'm a unit. Must deal with them quickly and return to the castle. There's not a moment to spare. Of course, Prince Alchrist. Leave it to us. I wager we'll be back in time for dinner. Oh, well, oh, good. I'll put a timer on to make sure that we are correct on that. Such confidence. But I'm still concerned about casualties. Uh, really? I will protect you both. Oh, oh how noble That's of Alquist. So but, uh, as your retainers, it's really our job to protect you. Now then, mm. get behind me. Uh... Alcus has never played a Fire Emblem game before and thinks, I know, I have a bow, I'll be up close. What is this, three houses with close counter? Like, <laughs> you fool. And Lapis clearly has a sword. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alcus, don't be ridiculous. You're an archer. You should be at the rear. Hang on, Citrine, you should also be in the back. Ma uh, hey, hey, hey. Surge is is a tome, Lapras. Uh, Lapras? You are now a red Lapras. I, I, f Lapis? <sighs> Words. Anyway, Lapras is correct. Magic users tend to be more in the back. But we do have the Surge tome. Oh, course, Citrine and Lapras. Wow, did you look at that? Three new party members. Whoopee! I don't have to worry about the AI. To your positions, everyone. Oh, the divine dragon is absolutely, absolutely not as cute as we are. Hmm. I know you guys are bad, so therefore you're automatically not cute. <laughs> oh god. Oh right. god! Exactly. I realised now that unique designs usually means that there will be fans of them. Oh god. <laughs> Outshine the enemy and then defeat them. Now, let's steal those rings and do Hortensia proud. Ready to start? Yes, Rosado. Let's make quick work of them. Gomery seems all sad. Hmm. But, anyways, the highlighting of Hortensia means that that is our sole objective. Killing slash beating anyone else is not necessary. Regardless, let's take a look at what, uh, before we actually start moving people about, let's take a look at what Alquist, Lapis, and Citrine are up to. Citrine is a mage starting at level 10. Okay, Master still immediately able to be used. Whippy. And she actually has a Thunderstart Tome. Tome, which we saw in one of those cutscenes, which means that Thunder's Tome I have, I can easily just now put on Clan or Saline now without any reason to be like, oh, maybe there'll be another mage at some point. Uh, my predictions was correct, we have gotten another mage, but still. Uh, she also has a fire time, which is fine. 
And what's this over here? Generosity. Ah, I see. Citrine has the element of generosity. Well, okay, uh, so how's she going to be selfish? And she's really wearing an elegant dress. I, you know what? I'm just going to be renaming all of Brody at this weight. But regardless, when this unit uses a healing item, adjacent allies also recover the same amount of HP. Ah. So maybe. So Citrine might actually be worthwhile putting the leftovers on, for example. So that it's just there for if needed. Uh, because that ability actually might be useful. Might not be. It might be completely useless because we'd never take damage or something. But. You know, it, it, it's there. Uh, meanwhile, Lapras is a... Lapis. I will keep saying La Lapras instead of Lapis. And I am going to hate myself every single fucking time. Because English. Anyway. A sword Fighter. Fair enough. At level 10 as well. So that means we can promote immediately as long as we have a Master Seal. Uh, with an Iron Blade. A massive sword that sh smashes foes. Cannot follow up or strike first if initiating combat. Ugh, that sounds like a negative. Name the enemy, get the first hit in. Hmm. You better have the capabilities of dodging or defending. Oh, right. okay, as you does show here the weapon weight. Okay, that explains Louis then. And uh, she has share spoils. If there is an ally within one space, grants hit slash a void plus 10 at the cost of quit minus 10 to unit. Wait, so is that to Lapis or to the unit? You don't see that on that. Alchemist is a lord, but he's a bow using lord. Fair enough. He has a steel and an iron bow. Fair enough. A level 10, so that's just great. Uh, we can immediately promote him. I will make him a sniper. Anyway, uh, get behind me. When an ally within two spaces is attacked, grants plus three to unit for one turn. Huh. Okay, no, okay, no. There's utility to it, but it is one of those situations where it's like you have to have your. Basically, they're going to have to be hit first, which is a little dumb, but... Hmm. What can you do about it? Uh, let's see... First things first... I selected Elquist, but okay. Smash weapons! Powerful weapons like blades and great lances. Smash on hit, driving foes back one space. I believe um, the Ymir weapon on the Three Houses bracelet um, happens to do the same thing. Uh, so while we've had a weapon that can do it, we haven't gotten the tutorial yet. So that's the thing. You can break foes by smashing them into units or other obstacles like walls. These weapons are heavy, however, they can't follow up and your foe will get, a, get to attack first. So they get to get the first hit in and they also get to not actually fight back. That... It's not the wisest things to be doing their game, I'd argue, but okay. Uh, let's just murder the flying unit immediately. I had no choice but to win. And win you did! In this situation. Hang on, can it? Oh, okay, certainly so can actually, so if we. So the idea, the way that the game wants us to do this, is. They get the hit in. It was only 55% chance and we failed because they're using a javelin. Hmm, weird. We smash them. Now that's the protection tile freed up for a Allow unit to me. be in. And then we attack with Citrine. Okay, well, that's fair enough. It's like, it's a ready made combination then. Please forgive me. Which is cool. Uh, that, that's cool. Uh, wait, okay, now to deal with the one up here. Uh, obviously, we are not the one that's going to be doing that attack. Uh, they're going to try and do a thing. Let's switch to the hammer. Yeah! Oh, we hit, but they still, because they had much higher chances anyway, so that was bound to happen. Uh, right, well, bridge one, you're in. Put him on the protection tile. I've got this. All these 
and all these lance users but we're gonna need to maneuver ourselves across anyhow because there are these axe users oh there's some magic guys i'm glad i'm gonna move them this way uh since there's magic users that way we'll um put we'll move louis up this way Uh, let's just put it here to there for the moment. You can go there and then we'll just send Chloe forward because flying unit. What's the game up to? Your objective, you're not leaving, are you? It's Lucina! But she's all wet. But how? How is she here without my summoning her? Look at your face! You silly divine dragon. Did you think emblems were just a you thing? Not by a long shot. It's hmm. yeah, a pretty cool trick, huh? I'm so glad I'm able to use it. And it's all thanks to Lord Sombra and powering up this ring. It's called the Ring of the Princess Exile. Cute, am I right? Of course, that'd be the name for Lucina. Give it back. Yeah, not gonna happen. It's Illusia's ring now. But if you really want to see it one last time, come a little closer. I'll give you a why, long... why are we right near to each other again? I guess for the purposes of cutscene, but we're still quite a distance away. So, Dark Sync. Some foes can also use emblems in combat. Oh no. These Dark Emblems cannot engage. Phew. But they can still use engage attacks. Oh. A light indicates when foe have engage attacks ready. Keep an eye out. That emblem is a formidable foe. Nearby oh really? Can join in oh. Attacks. Yeah, that, that, that can be very useful. We probably want to shorten the amount of enemies very quickly then. Anyway, these enemies come running in. Oh, that's... My honor's being murdered. No, my brain is and my brain is immediately going to mother mother. Like God damn it! It's not even. It's not honor, but not with two ends. Ah. Anyway. Uh. Well. Shite. Um. Let's just. Let's just do the correct thing and just break the enemy. Mages and my farm's too far away to deal with them. Woo! So if we go for Iron Blade, we're just gonna take the damage. Uh ooh, I've realized what I've done. I've only got one actual healer. Because Sailing doesn't have actually any healing stuffs on her. Who's next? I wonder how much damage you could just be dealing with like a sword that isn't a heavy. You know? Me? Like, being able to attack fast is nice, I think. I don't know. Maybe this map's just not a good one to really just understand heavy weapons as much, because she's taking way too much damage, in my opinion. Oh yeah, there's still the uh, other fucking um, horse, uh, flying horse. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Pegasus. I've always known as a flying horse. Oh, we have access. Oh yeah, I put Psychic on Fram. I should probably use that then. Uh, anyway, we got a core unit of people. I will put uh, Fram there to heal later. Uh, right, let's murder this thing since um, we've got the power to. You were beautiful while you lasted. Really? We're really being nice to the at the moment? Okay. I'm sure there's some good ones about... There's always there's always those that... that, that no matter what, that, in, in any nation, when it comes to fighting, there's always those that, you know what, are traitors to their homeland. And we welcome them, because that means they want to join the winning side. At least, that, at least that's my argument for every time the Italians change sides during any of the wars. 
And woo, quit animation. Did we really need to quit? Uh, you know what? I should probably uh, just danger sign all the flying units so I'm not so I know where they can attack. And that includes Rosado. Uh, God knows that be that. Just let's do that. That way we know where certain enemies can strike. Let's just do that. Let's not go too far ahead. There we go. Yep, the horses are moving, and so are the Pegasuses. Okay, so. Yeah, maybe Pegasuses, maybe Griffins. Oh, who cares? Anyway. Alquis, you're up. Murder the thing. Yes, yeah, so of course, you're still alive. You haven't taken any damage yet! For fuck's sake, don't all be like, wait, I breathe? I, I'm gonna use an iron sword. Iron great axe. Ooh, it's green, that means we get it. Sweet. Although, maybe not on Lapras, because she can't use it, but still. Uh, right, does that mean. Yeah, you know what? I want handy get experience. Fire! Phew. And we now have an iron great lance. And great axe. Uh, let's just move from this way and heal Anna. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Hmm. Maybe we should engage um, the Tiki emblem and grant. You know, yeah, let's do this. Let's let's engage. Whoa, we're a dragon now. Whoa, <laughs> I love it, dragon. Anyway, uh, let's let's define blessing ourselves. Ooh. Wait, Thomas? What does that even mean? And that gives Arno a whole bunch of experience. We are doing that every map now. Uh, right, anyway, let's murder things. Tiki is good, holy shit. Because then that, that's a safety net. So if something does hit us for 32 damage, which I highly doubt, and also... Why are we quitting? <laughs> oh, RNG, please, can I have better RNG elsewhere? Oh, Max, oh, okay. Uh, that's a bond thing we'll, we'll watch later. Uh, we have multiple ways of taking out the, um, enemy, uh, if we use the longbow we'll be able to reach that one, so... Pew! I'm going to head Boosh one down this way, we're going to trade for that, um, sword. Alright, let's not go too close to the armoured units just yet, Louis. Not good for this map, I've realised, because I'm dealing all the enemies before he's able to get anywhere near to actually be a tank. Maybe I should move him first into a good position. So these enemies, they don't want to bother. Okay, that's fair play. I'll keep this lot together for the moment. Uh... Because otherwise I'm sending everyone... Uh, well, they can attack from there, so that means I'll do that. Do that. Trade. Iron Great Lance. Yeah, okay, so it's the Lat Act. No, Act. It's Great Lat. It's Act. Every time I'm saying it, I'm saying... I'm trying to end... My brain's trying to make me say Great Lance when it's Great Axe. <laughs> what a lovely lance that is! It seems like the pointy bit's gone to the side a little bit. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Brain! Function! <laughs> uh... Uh, other than that, I think let's just position people in a nice way that I can then utilize for next turn and we'll keep Chloe there because I want the enemies to move to me not for me to move to the enemies because yeah anyways yep no damage good and stab
Oh, you fool. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, I forgot. Sword could axe. Ah, okay, well. Thankfully, there are no other enemies, and that's chain guarding, so we don't have to think too hard about that. Okay, cool. Uh, let us begin by not being able to... No, we are able to murder. Oh, pardon me. You just killed the guy! Uh, right, okay, um, magic it is uh, against that enemy. Because uh, they're armored. Wow, the f fire would... Oh, because we double... Oh, right, okay, so thunder we don't double, fire we do. Ah. I'm just going to say, I don't think thunder's that good then. If we can double with fire and it's the same damage... Then we just win with fire. It just feels rather. Now this help it needs a wash. Oh, now it needs a wash. That's not good. We're in the middle of we're in the middle of a bridge. We can't clean it there. Uh, right. Okay. This would be a kill, but unfortunately, we are dealing with the fact that uh, a chain guard occurs. We still break the enemy though, so and they're using hand axe. One potential damage at one percent chance. And we still kill anyway. <laughs> we especially still kill because we quit. <laughs> what the fuck, me? Uh, well, um, anyways, um, now with that dealt with, I get closer to the fucking fight. Uh, let's. Murder with sail sailing to this time. Now nah, she still takes the damage because of the silicon wing. Damn it! Haha! These stupid illusion soldiers and their hand axes. Throwing an axe, not the wisest strategy that people seem to be having. If I do that, all for one kicks in, and there's swords about, which is not ideal. Ideally, I would want a lance user to be getting a tempo with that. But, oh wait, Louis fucked because I can't just send him in because Hortensia's got Hellfire. Ah, that's a... Uh, hmm. We can actually sneak a peek at um, Lucina's things here. Dual strike, unit participates in chain attacks as if it was backup unit. Oh, that's kind of cool. And all for one makes... Used to make a sword attack against an adjacent foe, all allies within two spaces chain attack. Ah, within two spaces. Okay, so it's not a map wide thing. If that, if it was map wide, I, I'd be making my way to where the intelligence systems are based and uh, individually kicking each and every single member in the balls. Well, at least deploy wise. Uh, what's this? Big personality. When unit uses a hitting staff, grant range plus one. She hasn't got a staff. Where, where is this staff to be able to use? Okay. Wait, she gets trust in health because of the amp. Okay, that's... Yeah, okay, game. Does Gome? Yeah, Gome has a thing as well. So does Masada. Yeah, okay. Uh, right, let's just... Yeah, no, that's a bad idea. Uh, we need to send in someone that's not going to die. Uh, funnily enough, we'll just do that instead because what are they meant to do? Monk about. <laughs> yeah, only I laugh at myself today, uh, which is probably the right response. Uh, hey, Alp, let's just sneak over this way quickly. Uh, we'll just do that. Uh, we'll do. Oh no, 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 wait. Cause how that works? Uh, we'll do that because, like, if he attacks the Wii, he's an idiot, basically. No, he's attacking me. He's still an idiot, but no, no, bush one. Okay, never mind. Still an idiot, but now yeah, you know what. Useful, I guess. Bruce one, you get the experience today. Whoopee! Yahoo! Okay, they're not. Okay, Hortensia's not moving at all. Uh, I'm going to, therefore, I think what I'm going to do is utilize the protection tile. Uh, and we'll do that. Oh, yeah, magic. <laughs> I'm dumb. Uh, right, well, uh, Louis will not be getting involved, and we'll actually give them options. They can either attack me, or they can attack Bouchouan. 
If they attack me, then that's fine, I'll get the experience. If they attack Bourgeois, I will class them as idiots because they're just giving him the experience instead. I'd rather myself get the experience, is what I'm saying. Uh, she goes to just attack this tile here, which means what I will do is that. Uh, you know what? Clang could be an option. Uh, let's just do it like that. I've, I've realised I've made the decision. Uh, come on down, flying units! Because they're going to want to do the positioning for the thing, and we only have 13% chance! Game! Why am I quitting so much? It, that shouldn't happen. Or maybe, it, or maybe it's an aggravated average because because we are doing multiple attacks a turn, and therefore the anomalies will occur naturally. It's your lucky day, cutie. You get to fight me. Ah, Rosado thinks you're cute, Chloe. And then misses horribly. And in comes Hortensia. Uh, you're torn to the wrong one there, that's clad. He doesn't have an emblem at all. I will never give up. Okay. Oh, no. so, clan. Oh, it's okay. Well, uh, we could start fighting Hortensia, but we do have... Really? Do people, like, use the warp and get one of their units murdered? Because <laughs> that's the only thing I can think of why all these spi yellow spirits are there. <laughs> uh, now, now, the purple ones make sense, I would like, because I would assume a flying unit could always end up being there, but... Uh, let us... Let's take care of her allies. At least she's asking nicely. We'll give her that. Well, regardless, you've been broken, so... Ha! I'll take this to speed. Right, now that that's sorted out. Uh, murder, 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 murder. Murdering about... Uh, you know what? Same amount of damage, just better hit weight with fire. I'll do the fire. <laughs> I... I... I, I don't think Thunder's that good, then. <laughs> uh, right, okay. Uh, hey, fam, you want to experience, or are you not... Oh, yeah, you're not capable of it. Okay. Uh, Lapis, you get to do the kill of uh, God Mary. She's still broken, or is she not broken anymore? Nope, she's not broken anymore, but misses, so... Blah! All right, bye then. And since we are here, Louis, take out the dragon, Wyvern, thing that's being ridden. I'm sorry, Hortensia. I have to retreat. Level up. Ah, we can, uh, if we want to get another Master Seal, we could, uh, we can, uh, upgrade Louis into a General. And then that will mean General stuff. Okay, Clan is going to die horribly if I don't Define Blessing. Let's just Define Blessing. Fuck it. It gives honor experience. I'm... What? Actually, does it override the previous one? I do ponder. It does. Oh. Oh, okay. Yay, here's something my big business goes this well too. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind a lock up for your ability, but still. Uh, okay. Hey, health and luck, plus two. You know what? No, take it to go for honor then. Uh, with luck then. Okay, we now learned a thing. Um, good to know. Anyway, uh, Hortensia, you're kind of fucked, because we have this wonderful thing called bows. Need some help? And a random brutal one attacking from behind. <laughs> 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 Fucking back up. Anyway. Level 9. I need to speed and luck up. Ah. Uh, let's 
see. We have a search. Let's, you know what? Let's um, let's have some fun with this. Let's just get some experience for some people. Bergeron, stop attacking them! I, I might actually move them away. <laughs> dodges. Of course he fucking dodges! <laughs> uh, uh, you know what? Let's get experience for Clan. Uh, no, for Fam as well, since we're here. Uh, you, use the staff. Thank you. We, we've won. I, I just. I could attack with Alquist, basically. But I also like getting experience. I love me some Fire Emblem, if only I wasn't being nostalgic for Kingdom Hearts too often. Oh, we can... we could kill with a Silver Sword. Wait, we do... we do more with a Silver Sword than we do with a Fire. What? 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 When did this happen? <laughs> you know what? I'm fine with, I'm fine with this assault, but uh... who else can attack and not kill? Uh, Boosh one does, because he just is, and we also. Okay, why, right, uh, use fire, get some experience, because you don't, because sailing doesn't need it, but a little bit of experience, you know what, is helpful, and seeing as she's getting more than just one a piece, I think that means fandom might actually now be usable, um, a little bit more, uh, let's, let's just end it, but you know, Alcus could have been the one to kill, but nah, fuck it, I'll do so, no, no way. <laughs> Anyway. Some think my stubbornness happen to, happens to be a positive quality. I'm stubborn. Need some help? No, but okay, thanks. Oh, Bruce Ron. I love how I just had Bruce Ron just positioned perfectly for all those attacks. Yeah, it could be worse, you could be dead. Bye then. Level 11! Oh yeah, we could have upgraded ourselves! Well, I chose not to, uh, not out of any logic, I just... There we get the Master Seal. Yay! And we are the MVP! Woohoo! Seven tons! Meaning that we've been streaming for over an hour. And I have more than one Discord notification for once. I'm actually just gonna check which... Discord servers that. Ah, uh, no, most of them. Ah, uh, no, two of them are Ask Us Yu Gi Oh! Okay, so that probably just means product stuff. Yeah, product stuff. <sighs> What's this one then? Oh, that's really just. Put, no, okay, well, no, 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 that stuff's actually useful. Uh, oh, yeah. Stream mode. Uh, anyway. Thankfully, that's not on this source, so no one can see my Discord. Ha 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 ha. Anyway. We're done with that map. Yay! And that means we're in Brodia. Mission complete for this day. <laughs> <That's> so <laughs> ah, you guys are all alive. Okay. And off they go. They fled in a hurry. A lot of damage to the bridge. It may take time to find a safe path forward. Are we on the other side of the bridge now? We didn't recover the emblem ring. Oh, well, uh, uh, mission failed. We get them next time, then, I guess. Uh, in terms of that. And most importantly, you're not hurt. Oh, so outside of introducing Hortensia and Rosada and Gold Mary to us, uh, this whole chapter was pointless in terms of the actual map that we did. We didn't gain anything, but we didn't lose anything. I, I guess silver lining, we didn't lose an emblem wing in the process, so, eh, fair enough. Eh, yeah, it's good enough, I guess. Yeah, I would have preferred getting an emblem. Uh, well, yep, which means that Shadow Respect, the thingy, is definitely working for them 100%. Or Illusia's working for them, maybe. Hmm? It, it's, it's either way around. Yes. Counting the rings taken from Lethos Castle. The rings of the Sage Lord, the Azure Twins, the Instructor, and of course, the Princess Exalt. Princess Hortensia was wielding the latter, as you'll recall. Uh, she was. Besides those four, there was one entrusted to them by your forebears. And that's also Which one? That's also true, there would, have, there would be one in illusion no matter what, so... If I may, I believe it's the Ring of the Lady of the Plains. 
So, Lin. The king favors it, or so I've heard. Because I'm trying to think, who else was the Lady of the Plains? It out of all the Fire Emblem characters. Oh, so that opening scene. But anyway. Fierne's ring has a hall in the castle all to itself. Where does your kingdom keep its ring? Like Fierne, we store ours in a special gallery in the castle. And over here is our emblem wing. It'd be, it'd be highly far you target for any thieves. Just a thief trying to sneak up. I, I, I see you. <laughs> just pulls out a boat. Like that thief over there, we just had to execute just rather uh, viciously. Hey, how is the only country we know of the board yet? I really am worried about the situation there. Understandable, based off of what Hortensius said, there could be issues at the castle. Let's prepare to leave. Thank you. If anything has happened to my father or brother, I don't know what I'll do. That would be unfortunate if something bad did happen. Do I need a shave? I realize, like, get, I realize that with facial hair, I get a lot more on the chin and then the cheeks. It, it's a lot more finer, but I'm wondering if that's the more of the blonde roots keeping your heart a bit more of a hold. Anyways, we're now on the bridge in the explore bit, so... Alcris, Citrine, and Lapis. Uh, <laughs> why am I getting dripped up on our name? Anyway, uh, I can't stand here and do nothing. I need to know Father and Dim are safe. Okay, well, we knew that from the cutscene. I'm glad we forced the Illusion Army to retreat, but I fear for the castle. It's like a home to me. Okay, fair enough. And Lapis. Right. So sorry for being rude earlier. The fine one. I hope you'll support Prince Salquist. And me. We'll support everyone. Since you're allies, you are wonderful people who shall be respected for no reason other than because you're on the good guy's side. If you were on the bad guy's side, well, mm, let's just say you would not be having a fair time right now. I'd be... Uh, coming up with ways to critique your choices of attire. Lapis, not so much, because she's wearing armour. Which, you know, we're fighting a battle, you'd be wearing armour. Citrine is a mage, so, you know what, a dress like that, fair enough. Alquist, mm, I think that there's a few critiques I could make. Right, okay, that's all those ingots. Uh, there's something else for the explore bit, so that means it's time to go back to the Somnial. Whoopee! For all of that lovely Somnial stuff. We get a cutscene now, actually. Hi, it's Fail. What's she up to? Purple lightning attack! Almost done. Wait, the only other purple lightning we've seen is from... But no, she's fighting the corrupted. Maybe there's a time out there or something that allows for purpley stuff. Wait, that means she's been in the village the entire time? I have. I have to be strong. Strong. Just like you were. I still miss you so much. Based off of the voice, I could always introduce to her an orbital gun. <laughs> uh, damn it. Now sounds like I'll still free if I accidentally refer to Toa as fail, I'm going to punch myself. Brother. She misses her brother. Aww. Intelligence systems, this better not go in certain directions since I'm referencing to Cold Steel 3. They will keep this finger gun under the desk. And obviously not loaded and with the safety on because unlike some people, that's what you're meant to do with a gun. Anyway. Okay, so we got a bond thing with uh, that. New stock in the boutique. Ooh, and the stable orchard and pool have some new stuff as well. Ah. And of course, we got to go to the well to get our transformation stuff. Uh, transformed items. Thank you. I appreciate your patronage. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. Expansion pass bonus one was it? Oh, okay, so we're getting the expansion pass stuff then. Cool. Uh, I have some new stock. Things in stock. Woo! So, what have you gotten now then? The plaid set. Yep, that's plaid, all right. Ca pardon me, cavern scent. So this is a Brodian commoner set. Hmm. And Crimson is Brodian noble. Hmm. Quite nice. I'm going to have to go through with one of the women to see what differences there are. And Frost set. 
Lithian Clerics. I fail to see the differences too much, but it is actually a darker shade of grey for the main dress part. So, fair enough. Any new accessories? Ooh, tinted shades. Oh, where am I? They're over there. Ah, uh, crap. I'm they're not that good. They're not even prescription sunglasses, so I can't see shit out of them. So, and large shades. The like tinted ones, but all that. You know what? That's just that safely blocked sun's glare. Mm, yeah. Uh, who is this defined dragon you speak of? Because, of course, wearing glasses. This is a completely different person. I have no idea who this is. Oh, it was the divine dragon all along. I am... I, I'm... Uh, where did I go? The glasses go? Are you guys twins by any chance? <laughs> anyway, let's switch over to Chloe quickly. Just take a look at them. Uh, that, uh, no, 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 no. Stress. I wish it was played all the way through. Uh, Plaid all the way through. Like, I feel like for like the bottom bit. That I think would be an improvement. I don't. Well, welcome to Chris critiques the fashion of Fire Emblem Engage. Uh, let's see the cavern set. Okay, so it's basically the same, just suited for the woman. Okay, fair enough. Crimson set, pretty much more of the same. Just now it's a dress. Uh, instead of there being trousers, fair enough. And of course, yeah, it's the same. I, I think the I think the cleric stuff is practically the same, regardless. And it will be the same for the glasses, because, yeah, they're glasses. Why would there be differences? Uh, actually, what is Alcris' thing called? Ashen Outfit, and this is what he's wearing. Oh, no, we can't see it like that. Okay, well, uh, Citrine has a noble jacket. I prefer the dress. And Lapis has a homely apron. Yeah. We'll see them about round and about on the Somnial, so we'll look at them there. Wait, oh, so we did get some stuff. I should probably look at, actually, uh, first in the change segment. Section, I'm just being dumb. Also, we could have actually looked at them a little bit more on here, but regardless, we now have some other stuff. We have a floor fest that we got that from earlier. Shirt and trucks, we had that earlier. Wear fest. Huh. Am I a steward now? Oh, and this is more of a dress. No, that's cool. A spirit onesie. Okay. And of course, we have a training wear. Uh, bunny ears, we are now a bunno. Fox ears, we're now a fox. S simple earring. Ah, you see, we need this so that we can get to level 80 faster, so that our character can be ready to... Wait, no, hold on. So that we can then easily get through the Endwalker content, and then we can be ready for Dawn Trail when it comes out in the summer. I am not ready, oh god. I haven't even finished Endwalker yet. Fuck, uh, I've been too busy playing all this stuff. Ah! Oh god, this summer's annoying. Because... Daybreak's gonna be where Charles and Daybreak's gonna come out. I haven't even gone to weather yet. Ah <laughs> no! Ah. Oops. Brown specs. Uh, I can't zoom out, and that's more of the concern. So if we zoomed in, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Equip that. <laughs> Like a hood or something with like nice little fluffy ears or something. Then I might, then I might actually consider it, but like, <laughs> well, the, uh, the spirit ears at least. Uh, the, the spirit ears look cool. No, 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 they look fine. Uh, this, uh, this looks better. <laughs> this looks a li little bit less silly. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, that's that's just for the somnial though, which kind of just makes me go eh to the whole idea of wearing. Wearing it though, that's the only downside. Oh, we got an uh, achievement for it. I love in-game achievements because it means that you because it means that the game wants to reward you with stuff for doing things. Let's just claim a bunch of things. Ooh, bomb fragments! Yay, tons of them. Okay, uh, since we're in front of this, John is our chef for the day. Can I recommend something healthy? Yes, dear John, you can. Uh, let us, oh, since we've got, uh, some people here, let's just have Lapras who, yep, has support for both Alquist and Citrine. Let's have Lapras and Citrine, no, no, not Citrine, Lapras and Alquist. Deep fried carp, and we'll add additional carp and cabbage, and even some rare fruit. Apparently he's an expert at it. Like we'll, we'll see about that. So you can see the, together, you can see the light that shines through the curtain. <laughs> Slightly. Just the way the curtains are set. Like 
Support up, but not conversation. Support up, but not conversation. It's comforting too, just like home cooking. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. It's delicious. Incredibly delicious. Chefs are so wonderful. They should all be cherished. I agree, Alquist. We should cherish when someone does a good job cooking food. It was only a wank see, but hey, it was good. It was good enough to the taste buds of our new party members. Fresh deep fried carp. Some speed, some magic, and this is I should have put citrine on there. Damn it. Here you go. And we get some leftovers. Which we might actually give to Citrine, uh, thinking it through. Citrine, who's right here? Thank you. For inviting me to this lovely place. I'm honoured. Do you host any formal balls here? No. At least not yet. I mean, if we can, then cool. What does Vanda have to say today? Listen. The Lucius Crown Princess may attack soon. Make preparations. Then we march for Brodia Castle. Uh, okay, so next level is Brodia Castle. Unless we get stopped on the way. It could always happen. Right, where's our quest and where's Lapis? <laughs> Here's Lapis. So this is the Somnial. Any yam fields up here? Uh, I mean, we should hurry to Brodia Castle. Okay, so she likes yams. Uh, I mean, I'm not entirely impartial to them myself, but regardless. We're getting a panning shot of the orchard and the pool. There's Anna. Uh, I might have faith going to the pool just in case because I don't want Twitch to hurt me. Anyway, we can now use recreation. Ah, you can select two allies in the Somnial to spend some time relaxing at various locations. Support points between the allies you select may increase as they spend time together. Ah, okay, so we can grind support points. That's cool. You can, you can do this once each at the pool, orchard, and stable between battles. Okay. We can also just, you know, pick up the apples here while we're here, because then we've got more apples and grapes and whatnot. You know, you know, uh, game, these two are already at it, like, <laughs> maybe that's who I'll just select, I'll just select Chloe and Saline. <laughs> there we go, they're already here, we solved the issue. <laughs> and hey, we've got a conversation, so we're going to have more conversations, we're going to have more conversations, I was trying to keep it to the beat, and I failed horribly. Anyway. Well, I guess we'll head on over to the pool in the stables then. We have to head over to the stables regardless. Uh, where is... Alquist. Alquist, Alquist, Alquist. That's Marth. That's Anna. Oh, we have a support of Anna then. Alquist is at the farm. Okay. Uh, we'll get that in mind. We... Yeah, Anna's over there. Okay. Uh, the pool... Oh, wait, we can select. We can select them from here. Okay, so we can... We could have just done all this at the orchard. Okay, who's going to be swimming in the pool? Or at least hanging out near the pool? Uh, what's recommended? Citrine! Okay, uh, who does she have support with? Me, Chloe, uh, obviously... Um, oh, Clan, okay. Uh, obviously, Aquas and Lapis. Uh, Yanaka as well. Oh, uh, you know, fair. Sure, let's do this. So... The cutscene's probably the same every time, I would presume. But regardless... They're just swimming in the pool at the same time. I don't get how that is much of a bond, but okay. Fair enough. How quiz! I'm sorry. A race like me shouldn't be on the Somnial. Ah, I hope Father and Deerman are safe. Who hurt you? Seriously, like, he's not a waste. He's, he's our first new archer in a while. Like, we got Etia before we had access to the world map. Is is a good point to make. Um, I should make. Basically meaning that we haven't had another archer for a while now. Which, you know, that screams of awakening a little bit. But, seeing a, but thankfully we do get another archer that doesn't involve us having to... Cause people to make kissy sounds with each other. Uh, you know what? I've gone to the stable. Might as well. Uh, let's uh, let's have. Uh, you know what? Alfred utilizes horses. Let's have him and push one. And we get a convo. Woo! <sighs> Okay, you know what? It's good. I'm getting all of this done before 
next level. And <laughs> you know, there is this part of me that's just oh, we ain't got an eye dagger and loom in the novice book. Okay, uh, I don't want to use up any of the. Oh, I really should use this stuff. Uh, why right, we have? I am tempted to put a thunder in. I don't see the point of a thunder. I will put the sergeant. Uh, we do not need more blind daggers. Do we have any other shite axes? Yeah, we do two iron axes. Oh, I've got a chance for three stars. Okay. Uh, why? Um, let's go to the arena. Why am I running that? It's fast track. Oh, whatever. We're already near to one of the entrances anyway. Who's close to level? Oh, which one's close? Oh, we'll save that for next level then. Uh, next chapter or not. Oh, pardon me. Alfred, I don't think we actually used you last time, so we'll give you some training. I'm Alfred, Crown Prince of Firenay. <sighs> I am Etie, a royal knight of Firenay. Love all the introductions. I really thought I had you. I worked up a pretty good sweat. So, okay, that's, oh, okay, we got some good stats going on there, then. Okay, good. And the conversation, we've got a lot of conversations to do, holy shit. Uh, who else, who else, who else, who else, who else could we do stuff with? I, I do ponder, will we actually get any experience out uh, onto Fanda now? Because it's a shame. I, I think I, I, it's nice to, I think it's nice to have, like, an older knight running about. Not too sure about fighting Yanaka, but yeah, you know. Son, oh, you missed. Actually, that's good training because it means that you'd now learn to hit that. I hope. No, yeah, yeah, okay, you got a little bit of experience. Okay, okay. It, it's not much, so I'm actually tempted to just not do that. Oh, and of course we'll do some more for John. <clears throat> Hi there, I'm John, a doctor in training. Clan. Divine Dragon Fan Club co-founder. It's been an honor. You've been murdered today, John. Once again, one day you'll win a fight. Yeah, a conversation. Whoopee! Oh, so many conversations. Oh God, so many conversations. How many conversations do we have? Oh. God, this could be a lot, or this could be, yeah, okay, so that's the one, oh, that's that one, uh, Eddie has multiple, okay, so Eddie has the bees and four, more than one, and we have a bond, we'll do the bond one, because we can, it's a B. You're just about the strongest person I know, Marth, how can I be more like you? I feel like bourgeois has been proving himself quite well, actually, to be considerably stronger in the sense of actual people and not emblem but okay maybe within emblems that's you can accomplish definitely. great things if you let your bonds with your friends become your strength my friends are my strength okay so if um so if the, so this us the divine dragon gets bit slapped by someone a la um sword and dream drop distance i'm going to point at this scene and go that is why you don't say that your friends are your power because it doesn't always work. Yeah, you might win. But that might be just because, you know, there are extruding factors that ain't to do with friendship. But we now have access to Mercurius, a sword wielded by Marth, and it doubles users and experience. Yes. Does that mean that we'd be wanting to utilize that though? Uh, well, we would need to engage, of course. Uh, we do actually now have a second uh, master seal uh, coming in our inventory, so... Oh, no, not in the inventory. They just go straight to nothing. Uh, okay, let's... Since we now have access to Alquist, let's see what he get. Oh, God, the accents. Alquist can immediately become Tyre Dearly. Uh, that sounds... Horrible to that just my eyes just want to refer it to like ah if I wait I can't wait there's no sniper why can't he become a sniper oh because that goes archer level ten oh okay 
So, so you want to be a sniper? No, because let's see what what, what does he actually get out, out of this? Obviously, this is his thing for Lord because he's a bow user. Okay, fair enough. He gets pretty much most of his stats go up besides magic, which means if we get magic level ups, we are fucked. Uh, regardless, um, Luna, 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 Luna. Uh, nice sounding name, finally, thankfully, there, on that one. While making an attack, may ignore half of foe's defense slash resistance. The trigger percentage is dexterity, which, seeing as uh, he has a higher dexterity than some of these skills that require dexterity to trigger, that means Luna is definitely more likely to trigger on paper. But then again, we have a 13% crit chance and we've been critting quite a bit with liberation, so... Arms in the air, I... RNG just it, it worked in ways I don't get sometimes. I should know. I recently was trying to find a rare enemy in the first Final Fantasy, just randomly off stream and on PlayStation, and it just actually it wasn't a rare enemy. It was one of the normal fucking enemies. It was a cobra, and it's like it, they appear in like quite a few common areas, and I was getting nothing but wolves. That it's not even a rare enemy. It's one of the earliest enemies you could fight. Once you're actually out of the first section of the game, and it's like, how, how? I, for the record, my team was like all like high enough level to be taken on chaos at that point. So th that's just a frame of reference. So, I don't know. I just wanted to point that out. That that, that RNG just—it's weird. I don't get it. Uh, or at least I don't get it, get how it doesn't work as it should on paper. But anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's at level five. Nice description there. That an archer gifted with incredible aim, each shot can eliminate a foe. You could also argue that that's what happens with a sniper or a warrior, but we would require, if we wanted to make him a warrior, we would need to give him a power of axe for that. Uh, but regardless, so we could also, if we chose to make him an archer, because we don't have any second skills, but regardless, uh, then we would have access to sniper, but eh, actually, sniper's worse. This upgrades all his stats. This wouldn't. I've noticed that. I'm not going to be making that decision making anymore. As for Citrine, we can immediately make her a Sage, which means she has a proficiency in Staff already. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm assuming that if we gave her a proficiency in Sword or Lance or Axe, yeah, Mage Knight, uh, would be easily accessible and would be an upgrade still. So she can be a Sage really quickly, that's cool. And then with Lap La Lapis, she doesn't have a persistency in anything, which means she can only become a sword master. But if we throw in a proficiency in like axe or lands, we can make her a hero instead. Okay, so that's fair enough. Um, next time, I my I am gonna be honest. I feel like shy. I feel I feel really fucking shit right now. Um, I just wanted to get some of this stuff done before we ended. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the start. Next time, maybe we'll do more than one chapter. <laughs> or at least one more than one map. Uh, but regardless, um, also we'll go through all those conversations next time. I think that'll be a nice way to start things off for the next part. Uh, anyone that enjoys this on Twitch, all you can do is follow. Anyone that enjoys this on YouTube, you can subscribe, you can like, comment, you can do all that sort of thing. I'm doing this outro malarkey now because I'm going to end the stream. So, which will also end the recording. Thank you OBS for making that so simple. Regardless, I do hope that people enjoy. Next time, maybe engage. Might be free, cut still free still. Uh, we, we, we're barreling through. Uh, we, we, we gotta do Stargazer Tower there, so that's, you know, the McBurn fight. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not enjoying that idea. Uh, ow. Caminella, I'm fine with McBurn. No. Uh, oh hell, I might just randomly stream more Kingdom Hearts. We are heading to Hollow Bastion. <laughs> uh, I. No, maybe I have more fun play being nostalgic, but that's that's not to say that I don't like this game I think this game's actually quite cool at least what I've played of it Maybe there's something like 10 hours in uh, 10, 10 hours away that shits the bed so massively I'm fucked. I realize I'm now rambling a bit, but that's what I do I did the outro thing, so people probably will tune off anyway now I'm being like aha now there definitely will be no one around. I'll just ramble <sighs> I don't know, I I don't know, I, I I feel like shit. I'm gonna take the glasses off for a second. Ugh. I did the outro stuff, but I'm I'm trying to think. One last thing. 
if there is anyone on YouTube that is still watching past me saying all the things you can do. Is there a phone game that just makes you just go, why? To you, you, you know, like despite everything that intelligent systems done, that you just turn around and go, why? Like, why do you exist? Or why are you so good? You know. Maybe I'll put that in the description, or maybe I'll pay, place a comment, and then if anyone reads it, they they can answer. Who knows? Anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, I'm ending the stream. I'll see anyone that does that is watching this uh, next time. Bye bye.